Well, we are going into the KTVB archives to show you a great exploring Idaho, all to celebrate our 70th anniversary coming up this July. And today we're taking you up to the Panhandle in Wallace, Idaho, a town with a deep history of silver mining that you can experience for yourself. Everywhere you look in Wallace, you see this town's connection to silver mining, and with good reason. The mines in this area have produced a billion ounces of silver in less than 100 years. You can see and hear the story firsthand on the Sierra Silver Mine Tour. We tagged along on a school field trip. These Kellogg fourth graders have been studying Idaho history all year. They are today, too, but today they're also tourists in their own backyard. Their trip aboard this old San Francisco trolley begins in the heart of Old Wallace, a town built around silver mining and the railroad. Now you see where the students are going in over there at the depot? That's the, that's the Northern Pacific Depot. That built about 1905. The uh, brick that they used in construction of the depot was brought over from China. On your left, you see the melodrama. Live theater, that's the old Lux Theater, dates back to the late 1800s. That is the only wood structure left in the city limits of the town. Just a short drive outside those city limits is the site of the Sierra Silver Mine. Hi, kids. Hi. Hi. Step off over here and grab a hard hat. And grabbing a hard hat isn't just for looks. This is a real silver mine, and safety is foremost. This here is probably the most important stop in the whole tour. It's a safety area. It is? Safety, yes it is. Safety is the number one priority that a miner is taught, to, is taught underground. We asked one of those miners, George Barrett, to take us on ahead for a look at the life miners led in these tunnels. He spent 28 years here. I'm in here for 10 minutes and I'm kind of claustrophobic. Uh -huh. 28 years working in a mine. I mean, does it take a certain kind of person to be able to do that? No, it's just in this area that uh, it's a way of life. Is it a good life? Yeah, I liked it. Now you're taking kids on tours and telling them about that. And these kids have been studying Idaho history. Why is that important it's for them to understand? Well, because it was our way of life. It's our heritage. That heritage is one of danger and daring. You can see the pride in George's eyes when he talks about it and as he wheels around this eight-ton mucking machine. This is the most dangerous piece of equipment in the mine. If there was such a thing as a Widowmaker, this machine would have that name, Widowmaker. But all machinery can be a Widowmaker if it's misused. George hopes people will want to hear his stories of the old mining ways because he says for the most part they're over. And now he and others are building what they hope will be a gold mine, tourism. Idaho's history is mining. At one time, you'll see our signs downtown says silver capital of the world. It was the silver capital of the world. The world's silver came right from the Wallace, Idaho area. Wallace, Idaho, also the center of the universe. And did you know you can still go to the Sierra Silver Mine Tour in Wallace today? You can learn all about the hard rock mining methods with the retired miner and all. And yes, the trolley, it's probably still up there. You can find out more about tickets on the Silver Mine Tour's website. They won't break the bank too much with an adult ticket at $18, seniors $16, and kids $10. Fun way to get out of the valley and go spend a summer day. Again, Wallace is the center of the universe. Just ask someone there about it.